What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I have been a little bit MIA, but I've been sick all weekend, as you can tell by my face. So don't mind my paleness or my crazy hair. I wanted to do some readings um, while the kids were finally out of my face. Um, Hope that everybody had a good weekend. Anyways, um, I did, um, you know, ask the cards who needed a reading. And the two of wands came out. So, um, it, that can stand for the sign of Aries. So, I did some healing cards, I did some energy cards, we'll do the romance ones at the end, but this is um, a love reading for the sign of Aries from now until the end of April, so basically, gotta love those notifications. Um, for Maybe the past energy or this could still be relevant as you have the Ace of Wands. So maybe wanting to start something new. Then you have the Four of Cups. So wanting to start something new but still being kind of disconnected. Or maybe there's a water sign that's disconnected from you. And you have the Moon card. So maybe there's disconnect. You're disconnected because you feel like there's some things that you don't really know right now because of whatever reason maybe it just hasn't been revealed to you yet and you're just kind of waiting on this there's some fear that surrounds this even though the potential for this is here um, it's not something that has happened um, then you have the King of Swords, so thinking a lot about either another person or logically thinking about the best way forward. The King of Swords is very um, on purpose with his movements and his thoughts and how he does things. Then you have the World card, so... Completing something. Maybe you're thinking about something that ended or you're thinking about ending something. Um, then you have the Knight of Swords. So coming in really fast after something ended or maybe this is just this energy of intention but it went from something really mature to immature I and mean, it could be with an an air sign but I think that maybe the way that you're thinking about this is kind of all over the place as well because I think you had a plan for how you wanted things to go and then it kind of downgraded a little bit and you're just kind of were sporadic with something or someone else was in your life. So it caused you to kind of change um, direction a little bit. Then you have the King of Pentacles. So Someone who's really grounded and good with their money, you know, this fatherly, um, balanced person that's here. <clears throat> Maybe that's what you're thinking about is how to um, bring this together. Or maybe there's an earth sign that is coming back in um, on a good level because then you have the Knight of Wands. So this passion is here. Um, for this person 
then you have the Ace of Discs or the Ace of Pentacles. So definitely something new with money, but it is a new start as well. So I feel like there's definitely passion um, and drive coming from an earth sign for some of you because they do want to offer this new start with you at the end of the month. Um... A different way to look at this would be this was offered maybe by you and maybe there's an air sign who's still thinking about it but then an earth sign came back so you could be taking on the energy of trying to think about what it is that you really want what it is that you're trying to accomplish with each person but I feel like when it comes to passion it's definitely here for an earth sign for some of you there's a disconnect in your feelings which might have something to do with some kind of ending that was here before or maybe there's just a disconnect with what's actually happening in your life like do you realize that these things are these things are completing that there is um a fulfillment or an accomplishment here because if you're disconnected maybe you don't realize that that's what caused this knight of wands to come in is and wanting something new was that something ended or that there, there was something accomplished here not seeing that someone was going to come back in really fast and say whatever they needed to say and then offer this new start. Feeling like maybe there's some things that you still need to think about when it comes to this person because of whatever reason, there was someone I think that you tried to walk away from and now they're trying to come back, but in a more immature way. People always try to come back when they know you're letting go. Because you're thinking about something, or maybe you're dealing with a Virgo, but you're trying to keep to yourself, kind of come up with the right answer that you know, a different way of thinking about things. Or maybe this other person is in your life. The Queen of Pentacles is here. Someone who is um, motherly, down to earth. With the Wheel of Fortune. So things will be moving forward either way with this person. Um, but I think that... Page of Swords, there was some spying maybe. Three of Pentacles, this energy of working together with another person. Making a choice, the Justice card could be dealing with a Libra. Making a choice about taking the sleep of faith. Who do you want to take a leap of faith with? Because there might be more than one option with the two of pentacles here or two of discs. Someone's kind of holding back how they feel or maybe they're coming off as... Um, more about in it for themselves, but that's not really how they feel. You could have more than one option or maybe you're dealing with the water sign who has more than one option. But since I don't see a whole lot of water here besides the disconnect, I think this is your energy. You don't know what you want because there's a lot of options, different ways to do things. <clears throat> but you're standing in your power with the Emperor card, so you're able to make the right choice. And I think that's what you're trying to do. But there needs to be an ending to something in your life. Maybe there was an ending to something in your life. 
something that maybe makes you really happy. <clears throat> or maybe you need to end all these thoughts so that you can finally be happy. And all these things in your life that cut you at the core so you can have this wishes coming true and having good feelings. Because for some of you, walking away is going to be required. Walking away is going to be important for April. And there's people that are envious. There's people around you that don't have your greatest interests at heart. You do have someone who's thinking quite a bit about you with a thinking woman. Or maybe there's someone that you have in your life that you can go and talk to about these things. You also have a man holding a coin which could be someone who wants to help you out financially. Maybe there's someone in your life that wants to help you out financially. Or this could be this earth sign energy again because they're good with their money that's <laughs> sitting here laying across the, the ground with the sun in the background all seductive. Like, do you want this coin or nah, you know? There's some people that don't want you to let go or walk away from them. But your healing cards are talking about walking away and letting go as well. Letting go. Taking off your masks and telling people how you really feel and letting people get to know the real you. Because you're still healing. From whatever it was in your life that you haven't healed from. For some of you, it has something to do with how you grew up. Maybe something that happened to you when you were a child. Something that you still haven't really healed from. this world card here I think some of you didn't realize that there were some things that needed to end in your life eight of pentacles is about trying something new maybe you're holding on to things in your life that you don't need to hold on to anymore because you're afraid to try something new. Maybe you're afraid of this earth sign that's trying to come into your life. Or you're just not really sure because this is something you haven't dealt with before. Then you have <clears throat> the hanged man. So you feel like you're stuck in a rough, in a hard place. Like you are stuck, but are you stuck? Have you thought long? Have you thought about it long enough to know what it is that you want to do? Because you have the potential to be really happy with the Ten of Cups. Someone could make you really happy, or maybe you make someone else really happy. Why is this Knight of Swords here? Someone that you didn't want to lose. I think that there's a lot of grief surrounding this air sign or these thoughts that come with this situation. There is this regret and grief and feeling abandoned by someone um, that caused you to kind of close up.
Why is the moon card here? Something needs to change. Something will be changing with the tower card. Something is going to come in. And it might have something to do with the full moon. Um, I can't remember what day that it hits on. But I feel like there's going to be some clarity. And something is going to fall away with this. Whatever needed to go is going to go. So that you can be happy. So you can be positive about your life and see the things that make you happy because it's all around you. It's about enlightenment. It's about being happy for no other reason but yourself. Speaking positive things into your life after you let all the shit go that's making you not happy. Why is the knight, the king of swords here? Because you're thinking about working with somebody or this earth sign wants to work with you. And I think that's what you're thinking about. Because the passion is here. This offer is here. But you're thinking about it. And maybe you're not sure if they want to work with you. Well, they do. You guys are going to be on the same page. If you're wondering about an earth sign. Why is the four of cups here? Some kind of renewal in your life. The star card. Inspiration. It's about... Having the inner clarity instead of this disconnect that's here. Instead of feeling like you don't know what the fuck makes you happy. Renewing yourself, you know, bringing yourself back to this point. Having serenity and inspiration and expecting miracles for your life. Because the strength card is here. It's time to take control and love yourself and have confidence because there are so many things that you have to be happy about. But in order for that to come into your life, it's probably time to make a choice. The Seven of Cups. Maybe it's time to realize that there is someone in your life that could bring you this new start, that there is abundance here, that there is... Um, Something really good that could come into your life. The Queen of Swords with the Four of Wands and the Eight of Swords. So no matter what anybody else tells you, maybe you're telling yourself like, I think that there is an air sign for some of you that's going to keep trying to come back and maybe want a reunion with you, but it might just leave you stuck in your head. But you are in your full power enough to make the right decision about your life and what you want to do. Because I think you know what you want with the Queen of Wands. And I think that you're aware that someone could break your heart with the Three of Swords. Because this is here. With the Page of Wands. Something you already found out. Something you already know. That you need to make a choice on with the Judgment card. 
and maybe try something new, maybe with an earth sign, with the Knight of Pentacles. Because there is maybe a lesson to be learned, but there could be also a stable relationship with this person. Someone who's emotionally balanced with the King of Cups. What are the Romance Angel Oracle cards for the sign of Aries from now until the end of April? What are the Romance Angel Oracle cards? Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. All those things that are keeping you caged in, in your life, whether it's people or thoughts or feelings, it's time to free yourself from those so that you can move on and be happy. With an earth sign for some of you. Give them a chance. Have a good night.